Hello everyone, today I want to talk about the current Hollywood movie release cycle. So recently, if you have or haven't heard, the movie The Interview has been receiving a lot of press. And the reason for that is because a bunch of hackers hacked Sony, who is the company that made the film The Interview, and they basically said if you release this movie, we are going to release a bunch of financial information about you, and we're going to bomb the theaters that show this movie. So Sony scrambled and ended up deciding to scrap the movie. And then the President of the United States, who is President Barack Obama, went out and called Sony and said they were a bunch of cowards for not releasing it. So then Sony started scrambling and trying to figure out what to do and how to release this movie and all the theaters are like no we're not going to release this and then eventually Sony I guess talked with Google or whatnot and was able to release the film digitally and they were able to release it through Google Play as well as YouTube and you could just pay and you could watch the movie in the comfort of your own home. Now I think this is great that the movie was released this way. It was actually released this way on the 24th of December and the movie was originally scheduled to be released in theaters on the 25th and then eventually after all of that, a limited number of theaters decided, hey, we'll actually show the film. So then the film was showed in what's called a limited release in a limited amount of theaters. However, it was still released digitally on the day before it was actually supposed to be released in theaters. And I really think that's awesome because the reason why theaters really existed was because Films were recorded onto film, and the only way really to show them would be to show them through a projector. And while nobody really has a projector at home, so you'd go to a place where you could watch it through a projector that had a projector, and that would be a movie theater. Well now, because everything is kind of shifted, and most films are recorded digitally now, it's no issue for any kind of film to be released digitally as well as in theaters. Like, what I don't understand is, why doesn't Hollywood create this thing where they release the trailer and they're like, hey, if you want to pre-order this film now, you can and you can receive it the day that it releases in theaters at midnight. Why not? I would totally pre-order a whole bunch of like movies because then I know I'm going to have it like right away because right now as it is it gets released into theaters and then like three or six months go by and then eventually it gets released on blu-ray and all that and i totally understand that yeah it takes time to put the film onto blu-ray and stuff like that and manufacturing process and all of that that makes sense but why not do it digitally like the way that it is but right now with video games is i can go onto my playstation and i can pre-order whatever video game i want and then at midnight when the game comes out i can download it on my playstation i don't have to go stand Stand in line at EB Games waiting for the game to come out at midnight. I can, I still do sometimes for like Grand Theft Auto, but I don't have to if I don't want to. Why can't movies do the same? Sony has clearly shown that it is possible. Now I really hope that other movies follow suit in this and they release them digitally at the exact same time as the movie is being released in theaters. It will be interesting to see how this progresses because as of recording this video, no theaters have been bombed and the financial information like the gross scene of the movie hasn't been released and that will probably be released like the day that this video gets uploaded which will be Monday. But it will be really interesting to see because if it did really really well despite the very limited release that it happened in theaters, it hopefully will encourage change in Hollywood for them to start considering releasing things digitally because I would be all for it. Why not release a film digitally? I can just click on Google Play and play it on my TV and I don't have to worry about being interrupted by children screaming and crying in movie theaters or the person sitting behind me kicking my chair and any of that kind of stuff. I have the comfort of my own home. I can pause my movie, I can rewind, I can control the volume. It would just be so awesome. Awesome. I wish that all movies were released like this. This will be so great if Hollywood decides to follow with this. But yeah, what are your thoughts? Do you think movies should be released digitally like the way that video games are? Let me know in the comments below because it'd be really interesting to hear your feedback on that. Also another thing, music is released the same way as well. So why are movies so different? They're not really that different. And I'm not saying that they should not release them into theaters, like they should totally release them into theaters because you can't get an IMAX experience at in your own house. And I would pay to go see Interstellar more times in IMAX because Interstellar was so good. And there's certain movies that are just like that, that you want to see on a big screen. And hey, why not? Go to a theater and see it. But I would love to have the option to buy it digitally just the day that it comes out. That would be so awesome. Like they have those videos that are released straight to DVD. I want both theater and straight to DVD instantly. Not necessarily straight to DVD because I understand there's manufacturing issues and stuff like that, but straight to digital 
that would be awesome. Like even TV shows now, you can like subscribe to a TV show on like iTunes or whatever, and then the day after, the day that the show airs, you can download it in iTunes. No commercials and all that stuff. I know The Big Bang Theory does that. I don't know what other TV shows do that because I don't use iTunes and I haven't looked into it very much, but why can't movies be the same? It would be awesome. Anyways, that sums up this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in 2015. Don't forget to have an epically awesome day. Bye!